Today, we're going to give you a brief overview of the ANSI Z359.14 2021 update, which was approved on June of 2021. This standard redefines the types and classes for self-retracting devices, which are commonly known as SRDs. The new standard seeks to aid in the proper selection and use of SRDs by reducing the previously wide variety of options and corresponding performance features available. The three types of self-retracting devices covered within the standard are self-retracting lanyards or SRLs, self-retracting lanyards with integral rescue capability, known as SRLRs, and a newly defined category, personal self-retracting lanyards, or SRLPs. The most notable change that will impact your work in the field is the new classification system. Instead of the former A and B class, an additional leading edge, foot level, and overhead application variant. There will now be a simplified dual class system featuring class one and class two designations. Class one self-retracting devices are defined as only being meant for overhead anchorage and shall ensure that a user is subjected to a free fall of no more than two feet. Class two self-retracting devices, which would be the new equivalent to the previous leading edge designation, have been tested for applications where overhead anchorages are not feasible or possible. This requires that in practical application, a user may be subjected to a free fall of no more than six feet over an edge. Now, before an SRD can undergo any of the class two testing, it must first pass all class one testing requirements. This greatly reduces the confusion in determining the right SRD for your specific task and anchorage location. In order to determine these new classifications, the ANSI Z359.14 Standards Committee has also revised the testing and labeling requirements for self tracking devices. These revisions include an increase in test mass from 282 pounds to 310 pounds, the addition of a lateral offset test to ensure performance in a swing fall, SRDP specific tests are aimed at qualifying these devices in a similar manner as energy absorbing lanyards than the Z359.13 standard, and test requirements for the connecting elements used to affix the SRDP to the full body harness, a requirement that affords ANSI status for any units utilizing non-traditional connectors for harness mounting. Along with the new testing requirements comes a slew of new labeling requirements geared towards ensuring proper SRD selection by application and providing life-saving information on the unit at all times, as opposed to solely in the product manual. Notable changes to the requirements for labeling on self-retracting devices include suitability for horizontal use, class one or two identification icons in a conspicuous location on the device, and a warning of the need to avoid lanyard contact with sharp edges and abrasive surfaces for class one self-retracting devices. Class two units now require even further labeling, such as minimum installation setback distance, clearance required when falling over the edge, a warning to adhere to the hierarchy of controls outlined in ANSI Z359.2 and labels illustrating a fall clearance table and diagram of the axes as shown on the table. Disclosure of minimum clearance requirements based on setback distance and lateral offset. And a warning that exposure to sharp or serrated structural edge could damage the device and that anchorage should always be elevated to the extent possible to limit the risk of damage or failure. Furthermore, markings to include a warning that dual connections shall only be made for the purpose of 100% tie-off transitions are now required for SRDPs. We know what you're thinking. Haven't most of these labels already been required? Yes, but now the direct labeling and more specific verbiage will make it less likely for users to misunderstand the device's intended use and performance limitations. For more information on the new ANSI Z359.14 2021 standard, contact one of our gear experts